Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Pell. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, we're going to the future. Hey everyone, thank you for being here tonight. I'm here to tell you that the greatest inventions and discoveries of this era are not going to be because of technology. They will be, as always, because of human ingenuity and resilience. Powered by the moment of clarity. Clarity is required for so many things in our lives, and we don't even think about it that often. The moment of clarity is that exact instant when things become sharp, when suddenly everything comes into focus. It's like you've seen it for the first time. You instantly understand. Our understanding deepens in that moment. What if I told you that we've learned enough about brain science, cognition, and learning itself to engineer the moment of clarity on demand for any of us in any field. That'd be a little hard to believe, right? I'm here to tell you that we figured it out. I'm going to show you tonight. We're going to do this together. But first, uh, perhaps I should introduce myself. I'm Mike Pell. I'm an envisioner, an artist, a technologist, an author, an innovator, and a disruptor. I've spent my entire career pushing past the envelope of the leading edge, trying to do things that were far beyond what we thought was possible. Way back at the beginning of the Macintosh, I invented the very first font menu that some of you have probably used today. That was 1985. I've invented Acrobat and PDF, which completely changed global business for Adobe back in 1990. I pioneered the 3D metaverse with some friends of mine back in 1996 that I'm sure some of your kids are playing with right now. And I spent countless years at Microsoft helping to move innovative projects forward. But this project I'm about to show you, I think is going to be the bigger of all of them. I've actually invented a time machine. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh yeah, like another time machine. <laughs> no, no, not just another. This is not an ordinary run-of-the-mill time machine. This is a special time machine. This time machine is built to take all of us to the moment of clarity on demand. Would you like to see? Okay, but first I've got to tell you a couple things about this time machine. It has three important parts, because any time machine that can help us get to the moment of clarity has got to have these three parts. Number one, it can accelerate time. Number two, it can surface the invisible parts of our world that we never see. And number three, it can unlock insights. So let's go through the first one, accelerating time. This is a time machine, right? We've got to figure this one out. The most important thing about accelerating time is to make cause and effect relationships so we understand things better. We understand where we came from, where we're going, why things work in a certain way. We always start in the present, but we rewind into the past to be able to see what's happened. And we do this by using existing data. This might be enterprise big data. This might be data from your laptop. This might be from your watch or your, or your ring. There's lots of data to take us back in time and ground us. We come back to the present, so now we have context, and then we fast forward to the future. And this is where generative AI comes in. This used to be extremely expensive and take a lot of expertise. But now we've democratized the ability for many of us to be able to predict and simulate forward. The future is not so different from the present. We can play out different scenarios. We can see how things may actually be. But more important, there's insights. There's a particular moment in time that you might want to focus on. The systems that we build using data, using spatial computing, using AI, can actually show us those insights. They can surface the insight for us. This is part one, right? Being able to rewind and fast forward time. Got to have that for a time machine. The second part is maybe the most important, surfacing the invisible. You've all seen this before, right? This is essentially a simplified version of an air traffic controller's display. And what are you seeing? You're seeing lots of aircraft. 
in this particular case, you know, just focused on a few, but you see their altitude, their call sign, the directional vector, and their speed. But what you don't see is the complex mental model that the air traffic controllers have had to construct to figure out how close are these planes? How fast are they moving? Are they going to run into each other? Do I need to do something? That's all in their heads, and nobody else can see that. Well, guess what? We can flip this down into a spatial view, and now we can see the relative altitude, how close are they to each other, and even what are the directional vectors. That was part of the moment of clarity for you. You took something that was 2D in your mind, and now you've seen it. Everybody can now see it. Think about the third part, unlocking insights. The systems that we built are so capable of going from this 2D view to a view that I just showed you, where everything becomes a bit more clear. But more importantly, we can use the previous technique of rewinding and fast-forwarding through time to be able to see cause and effect. But more importantly, the system knows that there's something that's about to happen that they need to let us know about. This is where all of this comes in. Surfacing and unlocking insights is key to being able to understand the moment of clarity. This is something that maybe we would never get to on our own, but our systems allow us to do that. More importantly, you know, we've seen how this can help something in the realm of flight safety. You can apply this to anything: planetary regeneration, health, business. But for me. The entire point of this whole thing, the reason that we need to do this, is we need to take a very good look at ourselves. <laughs> no, really, we have to really look at ourselves very carefully, because we're so focused on the outside, we're so focused on other things and other people. But when we start to look inside, is when the moment of clarity becomes so important, especially in the case of resilience. We have so much information that's available to us now through our, our sensors that we wear, right? Watches, rings, you know, things that we use every day. Our laptop, our webcams, the microphones—they're all collecting information that can go into showing us our health. You know, what is the state of us when we really take time to look at what we're feeling and what we're doing? This is so easy now. It's available. Yes, you should be using medical professionals to help you sort through this. But we can see all of this. We can rewind into our own past to see where we come from. We can fast forward to well, you know, if I keep eating all this cake, this might not turn out very well. <laughs> but we can see it now. And then maybe the most important part is when we turn the camera. Back into our, the way that we're feeling, when we look at our mental health and our well-being, of all the things we can do, you know, for our own resilience, for our own peace of mind, is to really understand how other people see us, how we feel about ourselves, and we have all the technology to do this. So this, to me, is the whole point of this time machine: is being able to rewind and fast forward through all the things that we know to be true. So there it is. We've invented this time machine that can take us back to see where we've come from. That can show us future paths. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. The technology is is meaningless without people understanding why. The people part of the equation is always the most important. Always, always. And so for me, thinking about this now, we have the opportunity, all of us. To be able to use this technology for good, we will be able to not only see things that we've never been able to see before, understand them, explore them, and realize the moment of clarity for ourselves. But more importantly, the most important part is that this is all because of human ingenuity. It's never about the technology. So take it from somebody who's invented a time machine. The future is not written. Anything is possible with your human ingenuity, your passion, and your resilience. Thank you.